Hi, this is Rick and welcome to the 13th Microsoft Word 2007 tutorial. Today's topic is working with bookmarks, hyperlinks, and also the um, working with references. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create some random text in this document. You can do that by just by typing, by typing equals rand, and then we'll do 30 and 30, and that will create lots of uh, random text here. So you can see I've got 27 pages of text. And now to start off with, when you're working with long documents, sometimes you might want to go back and reference a, a bookmark. Just like a bookmark in a regular book or a long document can come in really handy to go back to find a spot you need to go to. So in order, in order to do that, you click in front of the, you click where you want the bookmark to go, for example, in front of the Y here. And I go insert. And then you see it's truncated here. And the reason why that's like that is because I have the um, word smaller than usual because of the uh, screen recorder. I'm going to expand it for a minute and this is what it will look like on your screen when you have it full screen. So I'm going to shrink it again. I'm going to go insert bookmark. And then I'm going to call this bookmark one. And I'm going to add it. Okay. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to do uh, in front of this word here. I'm going to do insert bookmark and I'm going to call this one bookmark 2. And now I'm going to go down here to uh, right here I'm going to do on the word the. I'm going to highlight the word this time rather than in front of the of the sentence and I'll show you how that can come in handy. I'm going to go insert bookmark. I'm going to call this one bookmark 3. Okay, now if I want to go back and find those bookmarks, I'm going to go back to the Home tab. And again, when you're full screen, you will see the Find button over here. Um, in my case, I have to hit Editing. I'm going to click Find. Okay. Now the Find dialog box will come up, and I've got Find, Replace, and Go To. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Go To, and I'm going to highlight, instead of the default up here, I'm going to hit click on Page. And you'll notice I'll have all my pages down here. So this might be, in your example, you might have chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, or whatever you want to call them. Okay, so I'm going to go to bookmark 2, and then I'm going to click go to, and you see what it did? It brought me to that sentence there. But what I want to do is show you how the bookmark 3 works, how I highlighted the whole word. I can go to find, and I can go to, and I can do bookmark 3, and I can go there. And you notice that the... Um, word is still highlighted. I'm going to just hit delete and delete it out of there. This could come in really handy if you're trying to bookmark spots of a say a paper that you're working on and you need to go back and edit certain sections. You can go back and click that to edit it. Now you'll notice what will happen is if I go to find again and go to bookmark 3 is no longer there. Okay because what I did is I edited I deleted my bookmark when I deleted that highlighted word. Okay, so that's one thing I wanted to share with you is how to work with bookmarks. The next thing is working with hyperlinks, which comes in really handy. Again, it's under links, and I go to hyperlink, and you can do several things. I can go to um, click on existing file or web page, and let's link to youtube.com. Okay, and now that's going to create a, a, a link in the document. You hit control and click, it'll open up YouTube. Now if I want to, I can put a reference to uh, an email. Let's do an email address. I click on email, and I put down here, let's do 10minutetraining at gmail.com. Okay, and then I put hello. Okay, now I say okay. And now I created an active email link. Again, control click. We'll open up the default mail client and, set in, and get our email ready to send. And now the other really common place to use this is insert links and go to hyperlink and say place in this document. And now I can reference things like headings, bookmarks, or the top of the document. But in this case, I'm going to do bookmark 2 and say OK. OK, now if I click control and click on bookmark 2, it takes me to that section of the document. That's pretty nice if you've got a long document and it's broken up into sections and you're giving it to somebody to work on. Finally, the last thing that I want to share with you is inserting references and working with references. So if we want to um, add a reference to a document, we want to click where we want to insert it. Let's say right here behind this word tab. 
and we go over here and we go to references and we go to insert footnote okay and here we'll say reference number one you know you'd be putting author page number whatever it is okay now if I want to put uh, let's see another reference right there behind the word document I do the same thing insert footnote and I'll call that reference number two okay that's what I want to share with you today I appreciate you joining and please subscribe and thanks again take care